Okay, so Uniprobe Mobile is a mobile application uh, to which uh, I contributed and uh, this is, is an application to measure uh, internet censorship and surveillance. Um, the, the application itself is the mobile version of another tool called Uniprobe that has been developed by the Tor project since 2012. Uh, the general idea be beyond both the mobile application and the, the, the desktop uh, application is basically that uh, um, there is a list of uh, URLs that describe uh, um, various uh, kind of websites, for example, news websites uh, um, or uh, local uh, um, activist websites uh, or anti-abortion websites or porn websites, etc., etc. In, in general, let's say, controversial, controversial material in a specific country or globally. And uh, basically what is done is that those uh, sites or a subset of those sites are tested from the location from which the user runs the test, so for example from my mobile phone, and um, basically uh, the, the result is a report that says which sites are accessible and which sites are not accessible from that vantage point. And the reason why the sites were not accessible, so for example, uh, that there is a blocking in the domain name or a blocking in connecting to the specific website or the content uh, is basically uh, a block page, that is a page that says in this country you cannot access this information. And then this information is then collected and sent to a central database maintained by the UNI project. And this database is publicly available and this is basically what uh, uh, the basis that is used to inform the public uh, um, about uh, how censorship is implemented worldwide. In, what is interesting to say uh, in the context of this video and this question more specifically is the cooperation between us at Nexa Center and uh, UNI as a project. And uh, this cooperation started in uh, 2014 when uh, uh, basically I had uh, a series of discussions with uh, one of the lead developers of UNI, Arturo Filasto, um, and we were basically um, noting the fact that uh, both software projects, uh, Uniprobe and Neobot, the software project that we were developing, um, needed to uh, reach out to mobile users, but no projects so far had made significant steps uh, um, in order to implement mobile. And then at this point we decided to join forces and to write basic, basic software that would help both projects to uh, reach out to mobile users. And uh, this, um, this effort has since evolved in uh, um, a library called Measurement Kit, which uh, uh, is uh, the library that is now at the foundation of both the iOS uh, and Android versions of Uniprobe that were released on the stores uh, last week.